Five weeks ago, I invested in a strong block node. One day later, I bought two more. Four days later, I bought another one. Then two weeks later, I bought one. And finally, a couple days ago, I just picked up my sixth and for now, final node. My name is Nicholas Johnson and this is the Space Warehouse. For a while there, the price of the strong token was just going down and down and down, which is why I felt like I was getting a deal when I got in at 400 something. At the same time though, if you were to look at the month long chart from October to November, you wouldn't be faulted for thinking that this is a sinking ship. But towards the end of November, after testing $400 not once, not twice, but bouncing off of it three times, the tides began to turn on the strong trading chart. From the start of December until today, this is what we're seeing. I'll draw a trend line in there to make my point a little clearer. So, each node will cost you 10 strong, and at the moment, each strong is valued at 610 US dollars. So to buy one node, you'll be giving up $6,100. That money is then gone. It's not like a stock or a crypto. You're not investing in strong, you're purchasing an income stream. After you've got the node, and apparently for as long as you keep paying the $15 monthly maintenance fee, you'll be paid back 0.1 strong per node per day. For me, that's $61 six times a day, or $366 per day. $10,980 per month. What the I made a video a little over a month ago about setting up these nodes and how to do it. A lot of the recent comments, I'm assuming because of the ever-growing price of Strong, are asking me how it's going and what I think about the project in general. So far, I have to say, this has been the single most lucrative crypto investment I've made yet. Sure, I made more money buying and selling a house, but that was over the span of 10 years. I've only had these nodes for like a month and I'm making the equivalent of a six-figure salary? I guess that's where the concern creeps in. The good news is that the group behind this is open about the fact that it's basically set up the way a Ponzi scheme is set up. Initial investors are paid dividends on their stake, primarily out of the money from newer investors who buy in at a higher price or in bigger numbers. The reason this is good news is that normally a Ponzi scheme is set up as a trick and a lie to fool people into investing in it. In this case, the guys at Strongblock do weekly public forums talking about how they plan to monetize their system and how they're taking on large and new partners constantly and that the burn tokens are going into a public wallet that anyone can look at anytime to confirm that there isn't any f***ery going on. Now, whether or not they're going to be successful at monetizing monetizing this system or whether they're able to find some way to draw out this payout schedule to a somewhat predictable end has yet to be seen. Right now, you can't know if they will be successful and that's what makes this risky. They've talked about changing the payout so that they decrease slowly over time so there is somehow equilibrium in the strong coming in versus the strong being paid out. And they've been selling these very expensive NFTs to boost your income stream at the cost of boosting their strong stronghold. So I definitely cannot tell you if this is a safe place to put your money to work. I can tell you that at current, my money is working harder here than it is at my Bitcoin mining investment or my GPU mine investment or my MVIS moonshot, although I know I'm right about that company, just you wait. If I'm pressed to give my purely speculative opinion on the matter, I will say that I'm betting it goes up as awareness grows for a good bit before exhausting the available pool of risk-hungry crypto prospectors. I'm not going to pick a number, but looking at the charts, on the daily, it's on an uptrend. The one-week chart is on an uptrend. The month-long chart is going up. Looking back an entire year? uptrend. Only on the three month range are we below the point where we started, but even then, clearly as the plane was heading hopelessly towards the water, the unconscious pilot came to and was able to pull back on the stick to avoid the crash. Overall, I think it's early. Do I have full confidence in this project? No, I do not. I am not affiliated with this company in any way and I'm not sitting here today telling you that you should buy a strong block node or six. Do it. But I did, and if this week's trend continues into next week, I would have back the 30 something thousand dollars I put into this thing in like another month. If you've been watching my channel for a good bit now, you may know that I don't do a very meticulous job of tracking the precise amounts I put into and take back out of these projects. Tax season is going to be awesome. I don't really ever try to calculate the amount of time it takes to pay back the amount I invest. It's not a loan. That money is now gone, and this new income is now present. Also, and especially with Strong, but with Bitcoin too, the amount of this income changes daily and unexpectedly. So modeling the period of time it'll take to receive back the same amount of money you put in is strictly impossible. As long as there's money falling out of the money tree, faster than the money maid can sweep it up into her money dustpan, we're gonna be just fine. Plus, as long as I spend most of my money on new streams of income, there's no profit to be taxed on, right? Is that how tax works? I don't know. After five weeks and after buying node after node, I, at this moment, make $366 a day with Strongblock. 100% passive income. Okay, 99.99% passive income. One time every three months.
months for about three minutes, I have to push some buttons to pay the maintenance fees. My prediction though, is that if the price does keep going up, node holders will start to cash out some of their sweet, sweet strong bucks for America bucks, which will cause the price to push back down. However, if the price does push down, that'll give the FOMO folks the reason they've been waiting for to finally buy in, which will bring the price back up. I'd say that if you're on the fence and only if fully losing this money would not permanently impact your life, every day you wait, the risk is only growing until the day they announce a sustainable income for this token. And if that day does come, well then today's strong price will most likely look like Apple's stock price did in the 1900s to our future node investors. If that day never comes, well then the price will likely spike at some totally unknowable point and then fall off a cliff.